I'm just gonna cut to it. There's a baby tiger at the zoo that has a broken leg. I mean, look at the size difference. Deepa is one of four tiger color variations. This is Deepa's cat. She has a slight fracture in her leg. But why this tiger has a broken leg? What happened with it, guys? Well, come along on this journey today and you'll find out. What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. Guys, the cold fronts are gone from Miami. All of the animals are back outside enjoying the beautiful sunny weather here in Miami. Now I'm hoping we're not going to have any more cold fronts, but let's not even talk about cold fronts. We need to talk about what is going on in today's video. Well, I'm just going to cut to it. There's a baby tiger at the zoo that has a broken leg. Her name is Deepa and she is a gorgeous snow white tiger. And why does this tiger have a broken leg? Well, it's not really broken. It's a slight fracture in one of her legs. And the reason why that happened, well, you guys are going to have to wait for that because we have to go into the garage right now. And I'm going to give all of you guys an update on the little baby tortoise that had his legs chewed off by rats. I'm happy that he's doing well. I want to show you guys him right now. But if you guys want to see the baby tiger with a broken leg, come along on this journey today and you'll find out. Okay, here we are. We've got some tortoises right over here. Let's take a look at him. Oh my goodness. So this is the radiated tortoise that had his legs chewed off. So you can see, well, not entirely off. He has some chunks missing. So you can see that both right there and right there is where he's missing some flesh. Let me pull it out into this light right here. This little guy is, well, he's doing actually pretty dang good for having his legs chewed off. You can see that he's active. He's soaking. This tortoise was really injured. He wouldn't, you know, be out. He'd be all tucked away in a shell. You can see he's got pretty much full movement of his feet. And I'm just so happy about that. But we're going to take this little guy right over here. He was just soaking. But this is where he's been living on this paper towel for now. Just so his wounds don't get full of mold. We got some food here. We got some Missouri, papaya, raspberries, all kinds of good stuff. And now we got this little guy right here. He had some minor injuries. Let's take a look at him. So if you look at him right here. This little guy right here really didn't have any wounds. You could see that on his leg right here, he has some white stuff. That's because he got chewed on a little bit, but it didn't break the skin. This guy's just doing absolutely amazing. Have fun. But this is the new guy on the block. This is a brand new baby radiated tortoise that I just picked up today from one of my good buddies, Mike. This is a fresh hatchling. So you can see just how much smaller this little guy is right here compared to this guy. You can see that... This guy's got a lot more growth on him, but this guy is only about a few weeks old now. I mean, a gorgeous, critically endangered little baby. And maybe this little guy right here will look like this beautiful radiated right here. I mean, look at the size difference. This guy has just got some insane yellows, but this guy's got a lot of growing to do. Look how small he is compared to this little guy. All right, little buddy, here you go. Go back here. We got our soaking water dish. We're just going to take that and uh, we're going to leave that right there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I almost forgot about this little guy right here. We don't have a name for him. So guys, go right now and comment down below a name for the new baby radiated tortoise. I need a name for this little guy. So go comment down below a name. And guess what, guys? If I like the name, I'll have to shout you out in the next video. So go uh, comment down below a name. And if I like it, I'll pick it and shout you out. But anyways, now that you guys saw an update on the tortoise with the chewed legs, you got to see the new baby tortoise. I'm going to go head over to the zoo. We're going to be hanging out with Deepa, the little baby tiger with a broken leg. So if you guys want to see what happened to her, how she's doing now, guys, we're going to head over there right now. All right, guys, I just got over here to Mario's house. And well, we're just going to walk on in. We're just going to come on in and uh, see what's up. Now, before I show you the tiger that is literally right there, guys, take a look at this tank right here. I just, I just set this tank up for Mario, like literally about, I don't know, a couple days ago. It's a beautiful diamondback terrapin in here, and I set it up right here. We got rocks. We've got live plants. He's got all kinds of awesome roots to hide in. He's got a basking platform right here. He's got all the lighting that he needs, and guys, this is just an absolutely incredible tank. I mean, this guy has literally got a little dream home. But anyways, on to the main part of today's video, guys. Take a look at this. We have a sleeping, well, I thought she was sleeping. We've got a gorgeous white tiger right here, a snow white tiger named Deepa. Oh, you're such a little lover, guys. Look at her little tiger teeth. I love tiger teeth. So Deepa is one of four tiger color variations. We have snow white, which is what Deepa is, royal white, 
golden tabby as well as standard. You can see she's just playing, she's sucking on my thumb, but she's not putting any pressure, and well, I'm not really worried about it because we're just having a good old time right here. So Deepa decided she wanted to come over here on the dog's bed, and you can see she is one sleepy little tiger kid. Hi, little tiger girl. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, you are such a sweet tiger. Guys, go comment down below what you think of this gorgeous tiger. But this is what we need to talk about. This is Deepa's cast. She has a slight fracture in her leg due to roughhousing with other tigers. And she's gonna be just okay. She's been walking around okay, but she also is in recovery mode. So she can't be doing too much crazy stuff. But one thing I wanted to share with you guys that most people don't know is that if you look at this, she's a Snow White. So you can see she's all white with like cream stripes right here, this cream, cream, cream. But when you shave a tiger, they have the spots underneath on their skin. So you can see that even though this is shaved from her surgery, you can still see her stripes and the stripes are much darker right here and well, it's just absolutely amazing. So she's got these black stripes right here, the cream stripes here, and then on her tail, they're just a little bit darker. But just look at how big her paws are. You can see that she has just got absolutely massive paws. I mean, look at it, it's my entire hand. And I want you to look at her big old claws. So she has retracting claws. So she has retracting claws. So if you take the claws and you squeeze, the claws come out. A lot of people will declaw big cats at certain facilities, especially overseas. We don't do that. It is cruel, not okay, and actually against the law here. So look at those big old tiger claws. She got big claws. Hi, pretty girl. Are you a sleeping tiger? Can I see your tiger teeth? Look at those teeth. So Deepa will lose the, these teeth right here once she's about 10 months of age. She's only about four and a half, five months right now. I mean, she is just one pretty girl. Hi, pretty tiger girl. Hi. So you can see that she knows my hand's not food. She just wants to hold on to me with her tooth. And she's putting her big old tiger paw on me. So as a part of Deepa's recovery, we're going to have to open her splint and let off a little bit of pressure. Vanessa's been instructed by the vet to uh, do this. So what we're doing right now is we just took off the black wrap. And we're actually gonna be cutting a little bit right here just to relieve any sort of pinched pressure. But we don't wanna loosen it up because it needs to stay in this fixed position so she doesn't bend her leg so the bone can heal properly. All right, we're cutting this right here. You just wanna relieve just a little bit of pressure. Vanessa, you're doing a great job. All right, guys, so basically what I'm doing is I'm relieving some pressure from her splint. Um, I was instructed by her vet to do so, so yes. she can have more relief. As you can see, um, signs to be watching for is swollen paws. Um, Turning purple? Yeah, yeah, not being able to walk or things like that. But so far, she's doing okay. Um, we've been monitoring her like hawks. Um, she's able to walk, she's able to um, chase the dogs and have a good time. Oh yeah, that's all that matters. As long as she is up and active and she's able to put some pressure on her leg, we know that it's healing well, that she's doing just okay. So I'm hoping in about, you know, in about a month or so, this will completely come off as long as the healing goes well, which, you know, I think it will. So what we're going to do now is we wanna prop her leg up so she has proper blood flow. So we're just gonna prop her leg up right here on this pillow and then Vanessa actually got an ice pack so we're gonna put this ice pack on this tiger's leg while she's sleeping she's just having an absolute slumber right now I mean she is just a very little sleepy tired deep is tired we're gonna let her nap for a little bit but once she's done with her nap we're going to take her outside to play in the Sun one hour later Deepa is now awake from her little nap and she's just outside. So you can see she can put some pretty good pressure on her leg. She can't really run around that much, but you know, she kind of wobbles around. Hi, pretty girl. You enjoying the sun? You enjoying it? We got Tio right here. She's like, hmm, I'm gonna go eat that dog. So getting outside and exercising is essential in Deepa's recovery. You know, we need to have her put pressure on her leg as it's healing so she doesn't lose balance in her leg. A lot of times when animals and even people have injuries in their legs and they're not walking on their legs for a while they kind of lose balance and they kind of forget how to use the legs so we don't want that to happen with her so we have her out here she's got a big beautiful open field right here to play around in you want to get up come on let's get up girl come on get up you can see she's walking pretty good right now on her leg which is exactly what we want but she walks short distances and then she sits right back down hi pretty girl you want to play so with big cats, you never want them to really bite with their teeth. You can see she's just kind of nibbling on me. She knows that my finger is not food, so I'm pretty confident. I'll stick my whole hand in her mouth. And of course, Deepa's favorite toy to play with is a towel, but I want you guys to see her claws, just how big they are. You can see them big old tiger claws right there. You want to play? You got to get up. You got to get up. You need to get your exercise. She's like, oh, okay, I guess I'll get up. 
walk, 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 you want to go inside. So this is what we use for the primates. They come out here and play and swing around on it. And apparently, uh, Deepa the tiger likes it too. You like that? Is that fun? So just like regular house cats, tigers are just as playful, if not more playful. I mean, she just loves to play tug of war with a towel. It's like the greatest thing in the world to her. And you can see she's just got incredible strength. You can see how she just uses her claws to just grab it and pull it like it's nothing. You got some big old claws, girl? You got some big old tiger claws. What do you see? What are you looking at? Oh, Deepa sees something. Where are we going? Oh, she sees a dog. So you can see she's walking pretty good on her cast, which is exactly what we want. Go get that dog. That dog was too fast for you. And if you guys have ever wondered what tiger poop looks like, that is exactly what tiger poops looks like. Big old tiger poops. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching, hanging out with Deepa and I today. Deepa's just here on the couch, hanging out, having a good old time, chewing on her chew toy right there. You like that chew toy? It's a good chew toy, right? If you guys have not already and you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of this beautiful Snow White Tiger Girl. And if you guys want to come visit ZWF and see some of the incredible animals that we have to offer, we've got baby otters, we've got tigers, we've got all kinds of amazing stuff, guys. It is linked down below. Go Go check them out. Give them a follow. ZWF Miami. Best place in Miami for hands-on conservation.